happy Saturday morning, everybody. There's Captain Dana and First Mate Nibbles over there. We have come down to the boat yard this morning to check on the progress of our vessel. And I must say, I am really pleased with how things are looking. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around and show y'all what she's looking like. And we shall go from there. We appreciate y'all watching and I hope y'all have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. All right, folks, look at there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So the bottom is painted. She is pretty. Looks like the, there's still a little roughness to her on the paint job. Looks like they didn't do a great job of sanding it. You can see some rough stuff there. So she's not sanded smooth, but honestly, with the price we're paying, I kind of tend to expect that, but look at there. I thought that looked a whole lot better than it looked the last time we saw it. So they're finishing that up. Still no props. Took the sinks off to paint there. I'm trying not to break my neck here because I'm not paying attention. She's still a little dirty. Got to have some more work done on cleaning, but I think that's because they've been doing the fiberglassing. But, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's getting done. That's why they hadn't called me, though. <laughs> she isn't done. Props may be taking longer than we anticipated. Yeah, they didn't sand her as much as I thought they would. But I knew, okay, they still got to move the, uh, stands you can see where you can see right here where it's not painted so they're gonna have to move the stands and reposition them which means they'll have to sling her probably in uh yeah so this is fresh i can still smell it so it's not she ain't been painted long and the prop that's in there looks to be the old prop still uh they'll probably change her out we may be waiting on that i don't know uh, yeah, she's got to be slung, and uh, I got a feeling they just recently, recently painted her, because she smells it. But yeah, the prop's not changed out in there, so they still a little bit of work to do. She looks good, though. I'm just ready for her to be back in our possession and in the water. So I'm hoping that if everything goes well, we can see her back next weekend. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, but that's, that's where we're at right now, folks. Uh, she looks good. She does look good. She just needs a little bit more to finish up. And uh, yeah. we'll uh, catch you up here in a little bit. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Sunday. Life from the Bridge 2025. Dana. Mark. Nibbles is on the couch, and Lexi was here. I don't think she just left us. So, happy Wing Sunday. Yes. And this is just a brief, short one today because we still don't have our boat. Boo. We're, we're about jonesing for the boat. Yes, we are. Um, we're going to call tomorrow and find out what's going on. We do have a clip for you. It is an update on the boat, and she looks good. Um, the bottom has been painted, but they still got to move the stands. All this is in the video, but I'm going to go over it anyway. Uh, they got to move the stands, which means they probably got to sling it. Maybe, maybe not. If they've got extra stands, they'll probably just use other stands and then get these out the way and uh, finish painting. The... Sanding is not down to the gel coat, so you're going to see some rough. When you walk up on it, you're going to see the roughness to it. It's not sanded smooth and then painted. Um, so you're going to see the imperfections. Standing back from it, looks gorgeous. Yeah. My thing is, as long as it does its job, I'm good. We know we didn't buy up here. 
We bought what? We kind of bought yeah. down here. But as long as it does the job and my neighbor has not had a problem, yeah. and that's why we went there. Plus, we could get in. There's a lot of places you still can't get in. Um, so, cutlass bearings are in. Waxing and buffing is just about done. They have repaired the back end with new fiberglass, and it looks fantastic yeah. compared to what it looked like, and you're going to see it night and day. Bottom's painted. Um, the striping on the lower at the waterline looks rough. She's going to call tomorrow and see if they can redo it, if they're willing to, for a fair price. Yeah. Um, if that's the case, then we'll have that redone. If not, then it'll just be what it is. It's not terrible. It just, now that everything else has been done, it kind of looks, looks a little, it, it stands out a little yeah, more. Yeah, it stands out more. Um, so, uh, house projects, we've painted the front porch, we've painted all the slats, and tomorrow... I was going to do some today, but when I got home, I just said, you know what, I don't feel like it. I worked yesterday, we worked yesterday, yeah. painting that thing. Yeah. Getting those slats and all painted was just... A pain in the it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's tedious work. Um, I'd rather than painting the boat. Uh, but we need Jones in for the boat to be back. We were, we were ready. We, we were missing the boat. We, you know. I'm missing our Saturday evenings, like, just chilling on the boat. It makes me relaxed. We just won't be on the Yeah, boat. we won't be on the way. Period. Yeah. But it has facilitated getting the house projects done, so good thing. Um, tomorrow I am off. It's Monday. Uh, little doctor's physical, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Um, and then, you always go in there and they tell you, mm -hmm. do this right. mm -hmm. but I'll go listen to that for a few minutes and then I'll come back here and go to work. So uh, we're going to, hopefully I'll get that thing screened tomorrow. No ready for that to be done. Uh, we're going to paint the floor. I'm not going to carpet it. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to scrape that thing and paint it. I just ain't figured out what color. I'm thinking I'm going to prime it white because i got a paint and primer mix kind of. But then I'm thinking about painting it. Maybe the color of the door. Which is a tea. Ooh. I don't know. I don't want it to be white. No. So it's either going to be that or gray. Yeah. might be what they call uh, this uh, agreeable gray that yeah. we painted that you see in the this stuff right here. I got a bunch of that interior. And it really isn't exterior because it's not completely exposed. So I'm probably going to just, I got a bunch of that. I'll just go down there and paint it. Roll it out and be done. So, anyway. Um, not much else going on. We're just jonesing for the boat. We got a few things to get for it still, but can't do a whole lot with it sitting there. Uh, next weekend, I don't know. Next weekend it might be a busy weekend because I got a feeling I'm going to say the boat's ready. We got to come get it. Uh, we're supposed to see the dinghy that weekend, from what I understand. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, you know, nothing spreads out like I want it to. It's like everything happens it's at gonna, one time. Everything's going to happen at one time. You just got to roll, roll with it. Punches. As some of our people would say, you got to pivot. Uh, some people would say, you just got to flex and bend. Now, whatever you want to call it. You just got to go with it and go with the flow and roll. So, uh, I might be going out of town briefly on Thursday. <laughs> A little sick on Thursday, you know. Uh, Friday, we might be picking up the boat. And we'll find out what she says. You know, when we get the boat back, we got the canvas coming in. Um, we got new floor for the cockpit coming in. Got new chain. We got new chain coming in for the anchor. I gotta fix the spotlight or get a new spotlight. Major work's done. This is just, again, this goes back to yeah. stuff that's gonna be making our life a little more comfortable. Uh, the anchor chain, now that's a big deal. Yeah. That's just and spotlight too. safety and security. Spotlights, we've got handhelds uh, that'll work. I prefer something that's mounted that I can, you know, just kind of lock and not have to hold, but I'll figure all that. It's it's not. I'll, I'll work on the one that's on the boat. If I can get it to work with the parts that I have, great. If it's going to cost me, I'm just going to get another. Be done with it. I'm just not even going to fool it. It's not worth it for a 23, 20-year-old 20, 20 boat. 
uh, certain things are going to happen, certain things are going to work, certain things aren't. That spotlight's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And I think I can work around it with a different kind. I think I can find something that's Bluetooth remote and and just boom, be boom, done be it. done. You yeah. know, I don't think i got to reinvent the wheel here. So, we appreciate all your support. We appreciate all of you watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share, ring the bell for notifications, comment anywhere you can. Remember we're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. If you need to get in touch with us, emails listed on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, we Share. actually we actually do have an email for Life on the Bridge. I haven't checked it, God, since I set it up. So I gotta start checking that. And I'll get that. There's just so much going on. It's hard to see, it's hard to keep up sometimes. But we promise you a video every week. We've, we've and pretty we, well stuck to that, yeah. and, and we're trying to stick to that, even if it's not much. So we well, thank you for watching. Appreciate your support. Share with your friends, your family, your loved ones, whatever you, you know, whoever. We are stuck at 129. It just, mm. She's jonesing for some new uh, yeah. viewers. And I know a lot of you don't have YouTube channel, uh, memberships and accounts or whatever. And you, you, you can't. I, I get it. Just share. If you can't do it on YouTube, do it on Facebook. Do it on Instagram. TikTok. Do it on TikTok. Whatever you can do for us, the more you can do, the better it helps us. So we appreciate all of you. Y'all have a great week and the rest of your weekend and have a great work week and we will see you in a week. Love y'all. Take care and we'll see you soon.